Hey, what's up guys? So we are here back in the woods. This is our second serious mushroom hunt of the year. We brought you guys one video already. I've been back out about three or four times, but I haven't found more than like 10 to 20 mushrooms. So today is the day I think we're really gonna get back into them. So keep your eyes open for me. If you see any that I miss, let me know. And let me know in the comments down below how many shrooms you think we're gonna find today. Or if it's too many to count, how many pounds of mushrooms are we gonna find today? Sometimes we find 10 to 20 to 30 pounds in a day. Our best day is 70 pounds. I know we're not gonna get that today. We're too, too early in the season still, but it's March 30th here in Oklahoma. And let's go see what we can find. Ready? Let's go. I think I just spotted my first one. Here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and cut him down. I ain't got time to wait. There we go. Beautiful specimen, beautiful. Number one in the bag. Hmm, this old tree here, it's always pretty faithful to me. I always find mushrooms around it. And I'll be danged if I ain't seeing any, guys. Y'all see any? Oh, I see one. He's a little guy, okay. Well, this ain't the stellar crop I was hoping for here, but hey, it's better than nothing. At least there's one there. Pretty tiny, number two of the day. Boy, it's a windy day. Okay, well, here's number two of the day. Better than a fat lip, I guess. There we go. He's probably got buddies. He was growing out in the bare, oh, yep. He was growing out in the bare soil, so his friends that, that size are gonna be a lot harder to see. Usually these are real big, pretty yellows around this tree. So that means we're extra early on this tree. Three, number three. But you know what, that's okay. That's okay. So there's number three. Um, I mean, I don't even know if it's worth looking, oh. How many of you guys seen these already that I passed when I was asking if y'all seen them? Four. Here we go. Number five. Boy, it's crazy when you know where they're at even and you can still walk right up past them. Number five. Oh, shoot, here's another. Six. See, they're barely poking out of the leaves. I'm, I don't know if I'm picking these too early, but you know what? I've got a lot of spots to check this year and I'm... This is the latest the season has been in a long time. It's the last day of March. Usually by now we're, we've are we passed prime time. Like right now is about prime time usually. And we usually got about a week left of the season. Right now, I'd say we probably got <clears throat> at least three weeks. I think it's a really, really late season, but it's got to start sometime. So I'm starting, I'm starting to sack them up today. And if y'all uh, stay with us in the next few days, we're going to be picking a lot of mushrooms over the next few weeks. Now, one of the cool things is where we're about to go down here is where we, it's a little drainage area, a little flooded area. It's really awkward. It's usually no mushrooms or they're everywhere. So, okay. So I've been walking around down here in this bottom land, like I've been talking about for a while. Haven't seen much finally came across these little camo guys and it is crazy see it must be very early because these guys down here in this bottom usually look like mutant yellows down here okay i should probably not even pick these but you never know it might come in rain it might come in freeze and <clears throat> if they're big enough for me to see them oh look there's a third one right there that i didn't even see for until just now so that would be six, seven, eight, I believe. Perfect shrooms. Really good eating ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we got nine. You know, it's just early, I think. Maybe there's more out and I'm just not seeing them, but I, I got a pretty good eye for them. You can't see them all no matter how good you are, but, huh. Anybody else see any that I'm missing? I know there's gotta be some buddies right around here. Mm-hmm. You know, some of them that are down under these leaves, it takes them a few extra days to shoot out through there. The tighter the ground is, 
the harder it is for them to pop, I feel like. And that's one of the reasons that hard pack under cedars, it always pops a tad later. Real tight leaves. Sometimes you get these giant ones that grow up real fast into the season, but I think they've been trying to poke their way out for a while. Okay, so I thought maybe we were gonna get on them, but this is the way mushroom hunting goes. They like to get your hopes up, let your hopes down, right when you're about to give up, get your hopes up. So I'm gonna turn this back off, keep glancing around, see if we can find anything else cool. Be back with you in a bit. Okay, now this is what I'm more used to seeing down here in this bottom. They're more this bright yellowish orange color and they're just usually twice the size of this one but this one's a little bigger he was easy to spot so this is what this is what i expected he's got to saw him down boy well, look at that thing beautiful mm. beautiful all right where are your friends mr sir where are your friends i don't know for sure but it's I'm an elm tree let's look at the leaf litter we'll see what it is this is a lot of elm leaves down here is what it is elm trees these are a lot of elms bottom bottom land full of elms i'm thinking and you know when if I you ever touch an elm tree it's it's almost like cork a little harder than cork but it's squishy you ever touch an ash tree you knock on it with your knuckles you about break your break your knuckles it's hard that's what they make baseball bats out of is ash trees they look very similar when they're younger when elms get bigger they spread out like this and make a more of a traditional tree shape you'd see on a flag uh i don't know what you'd call that but you know like the survivor tree at oklahoma city bombing it comes up they go like this it's it's almost what a palm tree would look like only much bigger scale um ash trees kind of grow up and ash trees they have a terminal leaf on them and uh that means they have a, a leaf at the end of their leaflets so um, Anyways, TMI, I'm sure, but I'm not an expert and I could definitely misidentify a tree at any time, but I know a little bit. And I can't find any buddies, so once again, gives you a little hope and you're back to almost none. So let me get back off of here. We'll pop back in and check with you in a sec. I was just trying to cover some ground to get to a, a spot I remember finding some, and what an awkward place for a little buddy just out here in this grass. What a super fresh guy though, man. I mean, my goodness. So number 11, I guess he'll make me slow down. Oh, look at this little perfect dude here. Man, Camo never ever in a million years would have seen him if I wouldn't have slowed down for his bigger buddy. But there you go, number 12 of the day. Let's see, we got any friends around here? Come on guys, help me out. I, I need some mushrooms. I'm hungry. I like to find enough to sell. I like to find enough for these people on YouTube to to enjoy the the content. Oh, oh, what a cute little guy! What a cute little guy! Look at this, fellas. Now, see, this is kind of encouraging. Like, look at this little fella. This means he just popped up. I mean, this last night we had was 60 something as a low it's the first time we've had a low like that it feels humid this morning there's a chance of storms today it just finally feels like spring and with him being that small i just think it is early so i don't know if i'm gonna get a big huge sack today but that means every day from now on it's gonna get better and better and better for about three weeks until it until it gets so hot that they all die fall away so we're gonna keep looking here but they're just now popping out. That was number 13. Anybody got an eye on one? Here we go. I just spotted a pretty yellow one. Right here. Boy, and you know, right here it feels so humid and hot. I could see why the early ones are here. It just so it's a little warm area down in here. Sometimes I can feel the, the temperature change in the woods and I could see this this uh, ground being five degrees warmer than the ground around it probably. If, uh, cause it definitely changed walking in here. 
this isn't one of my best spots or anything i was just kind of going live to see if anybody actually likes watching this because if you guys do like watching it i might go to a better spot later probably a better service i don't know how the service is looking right now there's a lot here in west virginia how much is a lot i might need to come travel over there and check it out here's another one let's see uh, i wonder how many we're up to i need to keep a little bit of a count here but looks like we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 so far. So we'll try to keep track from here on out. If you guys spot any that I miss, let me know. Iowa is where they're at. They're, they're everywhere. They're in all 50 states, we think. Although I don't think many people find them in Florida, but they even find them in Hawaii, Alaska. Hundreds of hundreds. Hey, well, you want me to come out and help you cut them down, make a YouTube video, TikTok video? All y'all got to do is point me in the right direction. When will they be in Iowa? Well, I would imagine in the next two to three weeks, but I imagine prime time would probably be around the 1st of May, if I had to guess. Oh, my goodness. A lot of thorn bushes in here, a lot of poison ivy. End of April or May, yep, that's what somebody else said. Love the live, thank you, thank you. The, the channel on YouTube is Adrenaline Rush Adventures. It's Adrenaline Rush Adventures on TikTok and Instagram. And I have an Adrenaline Rush Adventures Facebook page, but for some reason, my personal Facebook page blew up way more than my Adrenaline Rush Adventures page. So I post most of my stuff on my Nathan Wayne Williams Facebook page. What do you use them for? We use these, we eat them. It's a redneck delicacy, but um, people pay, you know, 40 bucks a pound or more for them. They are, they are hard to get in quantity. I see some right here. Here we go. Let's see. Can anybody see that? 50 to 100 a pound of decent. Where is that at? Okay, here, let me, let me cut this fella down. I like to cut them off uh, real neat at the stem because for one thing, it doesn't get a bunch of dirt. It doesn't get a bunch of dirt on your other shrooms when you put them in the bag. I don't remember how many that is, guys. Is that like 34? It doesn't get a whole bunch of dirt on the rest of your shrooms, but also if I'm selling them, people just seem to like it when they're cut off. Looks like they've been professionally, professionally taken down. So there's 35. And look, there must have been one that came out way early because this hasn't been picked by anybody, but this one died. He must have came out really early. And that's what a stem of one looks like. You can see those, and that's not one I just picked. That was beside the ones I just picked. And let's see here. It looks like a cottonwood tree right there. I believe, I can't tell what those are. I think these are cottonwoods here too. So we are hunting around cottonwoods right here. And help me keep my eye open. I see this one. Copperheads and rattlesnakes to deal with, yeah. There's a little bit of that, 36. Number 36. Ah, oh, there's a big one. Y'all see it over there? They are for eating. But after I find more than I can eat, I always sell them. Looks like there's two, you were correct, actually. There's more than two. But yeah, at first I just saw two from frag there far away. Now I can see a little more. So here's this big beautiful guy. Man, it's windy here. I'm sorry about that. Mm, we're getting a nice little sack. I'd say pound and a half probably by now. I don't remember. I think that's like 37. I can't keep track while I'm trying to talk to you guys. You just walked right over one. You're, you are correct, sir. Look at that. Thank you, guys. Ha! Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I was getting a phone call on my screen, and I stopped looking completely when, whenever I was walking up there because someone was calling. I was trying to deny it because I'm on the live. Where is he at? Here he is. I'm too zoomed in. Let me zoom out. So maybe number 38, maybe, maybe number 39. I'm not for sure. How many of you guys are at work? 
How on the F did you see that, LOL? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Pretty good eyes, thank you. I'm working here, LOL. PTO day, wish I was out mushroom hunting. Oh, I know. You know, I was a teacher for 10 years, guys. Let me zoom back out. I was a teacher for 10 years and I started this YouTube channel about 10 years ago. Posted a mushroom video or two, posted a lot of noodling videos, and it finally got to going so well that I thought, you know what, my wife got a pretty good job. If I make the leap and start going out and showing all of my adventures, here's the one that I almost stepped on that the guy found. But if I make the leap and I, I'd taken some people noodling that had had some successful YouTube channels, they started making a lot of money at it. So I'm not there yet, but I just retired from teaching this year. Um, which I'm only 36 years old, so I'm not really supposed to retire, but I made the leap and started doing this YouTube, Facebook, this videoing, and, and so far this month, I've made more than I did teaching for the first month. I've quit in August, so September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So in March, finally, seven months after I quit teaching and took the leap and I was scared to death that we were gonna go bankrupt and not make enough money, but we've made 500 to about two or 3,000 a month at the YouTube and the Facebook. And now, this month we've done really well. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for helping me get out of the classroom. I love kids, I love teaching, I love coaching, but at the same time, it, talk about a stressful job. And I know they say, you know, teachers only work nine months a year or whatever. That was the only reason I was able to keep doing it is because of those breaks, because every day, is a struggle and those kids their parents just they don't parent them like they should and so they think they can come up there and act however they want which i know i i had them under control more than most of the teachers so it wasn't too bad but i don't know that's about 40 guys i've lost count we'll just have to count them at the end of the trip checking in from mariana florida how you doing gwen harris thanks for joining and thanks for the comment thanks for the likes thanks for the gifts guys like I said, don't forget Nathan Wayne Williams on Facebook. Any follows on there would be much appreciated. I'm trying to max out my last bonus. They're doing away with the Facebook Reels bonus program. And I had got my limit raised where I can make 10,000 a month on Facebook. And this is my last month. I have eight days left to hit my $10,000. And I'm on about $4,000 right now. But with that being said, right now I have a reel that is going viral and it's got like 20 million views just out of nowhere in the last day so you never know i'm gonna need about 60 million views to hit that ten thousand dollar mark we're about a third of the way there how do you know when to start looking my grandpa always said when the red buds are out the, the mushrooms will sprout so we try to start looking around the time that the red buds come out but when you see the bradford pears changing from white to green it's about time to go look when you see the elm trees budded out it's about time to go look when you see a lot of the birds heading back north for uh, for summer, which it ain't summer, they come back about March, April, March and April, sometimes maybe way up north in May, but there's lots of signs. Some people say when the May apples are knee high, so there's lots of signs, but basically when people start mowing their grass, whenever that grass starts getting out of control and you're like, man, that dude needs to mow his yard, that's whenever it's time to mushroom hunt or that's even getting late season by the time the grass gets that high. When you see the grass turning green, it's time to go i just mowed my yard for the first time the other day and i could have snuck by probably another week or so without it but i it probably needed it so may apples in my area of ohio are just now popping out of the ground yeah so people say when they're knee high but every year when they say that i find a few small mushrooms when those may apples are just ankle high or something but if you want to be able to see the mushrooms good or if you're hunting a new spot they definitely should probably be knee high what else do they say oh um poke salad when you see the poke salad coming out that's another good time another good indicator there are so many indicators that i've heard over the years but i kind of just use them all together and i just kind of got that feeling and know and also sometimes the temperatures can be right and if you haven't got the right amount of rain then they're just not out and then sometimes i don't know if you're hunting a disaster area like where there's been some clear cut or people have cut down some trees or something they pop out extra early sometimes because a mushroom when it dies or when the tree dies it's attached to the roots the mycelium is whenever they whenever they can tell hey look at this 
I think this is a big stem from a mushroom. See this? Or this may just be a different mushroom, but there's something there. That may have been one that popped out really early and died. But uh, that mycelium attaches to the roots and it'll lay dormant for years. Sometimes I've heard 10, 20, 50 years. And whenever that tree is in distress, it knows it has to come up and fruit and sprout and try to go attach to another host. So it's, they gotta sprout out so they can go attach to another host. So if you can find a tree that's dead or dying, you will be in really good shape, especially an elm or cottonwood tree. 42 mushrooms in the bag. Awesome, thanks for keeping me keeping me on track. Doors, fishing 21, I'll follow you back. Or follow you, I don't know if you followed me, but I'll follow you fishing 21. Thanks for helping me keep track, keep count. Tell you what, uh oh, yes, yes, looky here. I was just about to think we should wind it down and look what we got here, guys. These beautiful little golden nuggets. So I don't know how many we got here, but whenever you see that many right off the bat, it's usually a good sign. They're out here on these oak leaves. See, these are oak leaves. But I do see, okay, so these leaves right here are elm leaves, and you can tell the elm leaves because at the bottom where they come together, it's oblique or it comes together not perfectly, and the edges of the leaf is serrated. And on a not wilty leaf, they're extra not serrated. But here we go, let's cut down this little brown looking Christmas tree, golden, yellowish, looks like a brain. That's a morel mushroom. So that'd be 43 in the sack. 44 in the sack. Uh oh, he got a tad bit of dirt on him. There he goes. 40, 45. Thanks for the tips in Washington. Oh, you're welcome. Six. Oh, 46, right? This is 46 then, I think. Yeah, I get distracted trying to read and cut. Get off me. 47. And you know, there's a. In Oklahoma, we are like over half of our trees are these stupid oak trees and the oak leaves. This would be a post oak tree. Post oak makes more like a, almost like a cross. And if you see a blackjack oak, it'll look like a bell, 47. But I don't think these are growing from the oak trees. I but I will say, I have a lot of luck where there's just a little, a big oak tree near some cottonwoods and stuff. Because what I think happens is, I think these oak leaves just help trap the moisture in the ground. But these elm, see these elm, the, the big elm is what's, is actually the, the morels growing from. But these oak leaves smash down, helping, helping get this moisture. See how moist it is down here? These uh, oak leaves help trap the moisture in. And I think the cottonwoods and cedars kind of have a relationship like that too, where if I find a few cottonwoods mixed with a big cedar grove, man, they pop out like crazy. And I think it's because the, something about the acidity under the cedar trees or something. Mesh bag, no thanks. No thanks. I've used mesh bags. They, they tear up too easy and I find too many mushrooms. My sacks get so heavy. If you guys hang out with me, we'll go on a trip this year and we'll find 12 to 20 pounds or more in a day if you guys hang out with me. So you do that, your mushrooms on the bottom are ruined in a mesh sack. Not to mention where I go, no mushroom left behind. I crawl through some crap. There's thorn bushes everywhere where I hunt, cedar trees everywhere, and those mesh sacks do not last. They get tore up. The cool thing about a, a paper sack is you can be walking through the cedar trees. Sometimes those cedar branches will, will whiplash you. They'll pop, you know, you, you, they just take a weird pop and they slap you and they'll bust some bags right open. But some of these paper sacks, it'll go. And they just, they're nice and good. Not to mention, this is the best thing to store your mushrooms in in the freezer. I mean, in the fridge. They'll stay for 10 days in these paper sacks in the fridge. It helps hold the moisture in and they don't dry out <clears throat> oh man boy check it out guys uh i see some more coming up here i'm trying not to sometimes if you just walk towards the ones you see you miss some but here we go here's some more and hey earlier past one is this the guy that said that earlier that i passed one well i'm gonna go back and look because earlier i had two people tell me i passed one and they were indeed right. See, look at there. That's an elm leaf mixed in here with the, the oak leaves. Like I said, I think they're growing from the elm, but I think these oak leaves are helping keep this area perfectly moist for them. I've lost count at this point. If a uh, fishing guy is keeping track, that'd be great. If not, I'll just have to count them later. We gotta be over 50 now. 
Okay, y'all said I passed one. Let's go see. Where is it? Oh, you are surely correct. Look at that. And who knows if that's the one he's seen, but that probably is. Thank you guys. You saved this fella. You saved him. This is really fun. It's like an Easter egg hunt for adults. My kids are usually out here with me and they're usually filming for me and everything. I passed one and here's another one that I should have already seen that I'd already kind of walked past as well. Honey, look at that beautiful thing. And I tell you what, I've went out a few times this year and I've been getting fresh. All right, hey, what's up guys? We decided to move spots and give it a try somewhere else. And right off the bat, let's look, look, look what we found here. Ha, huh. we got a falsy. Let's chop down this falsy anyways. Let's look at him. Let's see, he's got a solid stem. We made it to 60 mushrooms at our first spot, this bag right here. Let's see how many we can get into here, all right? Been walking in the woods for a few minutes. We found that one false morel. And then I stumbled across these. This is a spot I know, otherwise I probably wouldn't have seen these. These, these always are huge mushrooms here. But right now they're just little small grays. They, these ones right here always turn out to be giant yellows. So I know we're really early. These suckers were camo. I couldn't hardly see them. All right, guys. Stumbled across a couple of little ones here. I'll go ahead and pick this one and this one. I was doing a TikTok live earlier and they spotted some that I missed. So if you guys see any in this video, I don't know if the season will be over or whatever, but I'd be I'd be interested to see if I did miss some, you know. Better rescue him. Or it's too late. Ooh wee. Well, that's a freshie. Down in the grass. So there's one there, two, three, so at least three, four. Five. Six. Six of them. All right. Here we go. Let's start chopping these bad boys down. I'm hoping that you can see it on my GoPro. We are on about 80 mushrooms. I think this would be 81. Check this out. 81. Eighty-two. Look at that thing. It's so pretty. Eighty-two. 83 84 hey guys thanks for joining thanks for watching thanks for the likes 84 let's see here oh i see them all up in there we got 84 so far you guys see these up here 85 Beautiful, 85, 86, man, this is when it's fun. So we got 86, make sure you guys hit the like button. If you like searching for morel mushrooms, help me find these guys. It's a pretty fun hobby. It's like a adult Easter egg hunting, you know, but you can eat these things. Can't buy them in stores very often. 86, 87, 88. Look at them. Look at them. You can see them up there. Boom, 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 boom. I guess we'll go put, well, I guess we'll go chop them down. 89. Loud and clear again. I think it's again. Thank you, sir. 90. If I miss any, you guys let me know. 91. Hey, let me know where you guys are watching from. I'm just trying to see how far away some people are watching from. 92. 93. 94. 95. Boy, it's fun when you get into them like this. 90. Ow. Six. There's a lot of thorns down in here. Okay. 
you know my goal look at these guys these are i've walked around these a couple times probably 97 they're a little more gray harder to see 98 99 100 get off there and 101 i knew it was going to be a good season late starting season but a good season here we are right here it's two more little guys 102 103 man they are all around this is awesome 102 103 104 what state we're in oklahoma 105 106 106 maybe can y'all guys keep up i'm having a hard time keeping up oh looky there there's a little dead guy he's uh fell off his stem and he's just laying beside his old stem but i think i could still eat him <laughs> 108 109 110 these cute little guys yowie oh yeah here they are what do they taste like well when you fry them up they taste like chicken fried steak is paddlefish season over nope i'll be going back sunday not tomorrow but sunday playing in a volleyball tournament tomorrow let's see a 109 110 look i walked right past this little guy 111 these are morel mushrooms these are a redneck delicacy but uh, not even just redneck i mean people pay high dollar for these things you can sell them for 50 bucks a pound i'm losing count but at least 110 111 they look like a little brown christmas tree silhouette they have a oh they have a hollow stem that's how you know they're not poisonous lucky there's one that's fallen off and died too there's this little dried up head uh next to his hardened stem it's like 111 110 or 111 heck i don't remember 112 i'll count them later maybe unless we get too many i won't feel like counting them 112 I know I've seen some this way. 113. Hard to keep track. 114. Whoa. 115. There's a 114-ish. Can't remember the numbers. Oh look, here's one hiding. There's one hiding in the bushes. Look at there. Get out of there. Ow, it's a thorn bush too. You see the thorns on that thing? That ain't no good. Hmm. 115 116 look at those aren't they pretty morel mushroom hunting oh one seventeen ah look here's one i'm gonna have to reach through the had to, ow i had to reach through the barb wire to reach this ow this guy I don't know if y'all can see him, but there he is. Wee. Yummy. Put him in the bag. Well, I think it's going to be one of those seasons where they are plentiful. I think they just got a late start. Here's 119, I think. But it's about 75 degrees out here today. Beautiful weather. But look at what I just spotted. I spotted another little buddy right there. Gotta get down on my hands and knees and crawl for him a bit. There we go, 121. Oh look, there's his friend up in there. Follow, much appreciated. 1, 2, I just found, oh, there he is. There he is. They're still pretty hard to see. It is a little early. Some of these are average size, but a lot of them are below average size. There he is. In Wisconsin, the apex is usually Mother's Day. Oh my goodness, I wouldn't want to wait that long. By Mother's Day, I'm jumping in the water, grabbing a hold of catfish. This is my second serious hunt of the year. I poked my head in the woods two or three times. Thanks for the follows, guys. If you really like the mushroom hunting, I have a video on YouTube of my but first my first mushroom hunt of the year. We were having to move leaves to find them, and they were tiny. Yeah, they're expensive. You can't farm them or cultivate them. You have to strictly forage for them. They can't. No one's figured out how to. How to grow them so but yeah we have a youtube video of our first hunt of the year if you get a chance check that out i'd appreciate it man 
There's one. Thank goodness. I was like, please don't tell me we're running out. I don't want to run out of morels. All right. So here's number 122, I think. 123, this little guy. This is a little bit of a bigger one. 124. There in the sack he goes. 125. What? Surprised the morale warriors aren't yelling at you for not using a mesh bag. They did that this morning. They were yelling at me this morning, but I find a lot more morels than any of those morel warriors. And what happens to me when I take a mesh sack is if I get a sack this heavy, this is about five pounds already. It starts smashing the ones on the bottom like a cheese grater. And I start getting hung up on every briar in the woods and every cedar tree. And it starts tearing my sack, smashing my mushrooms, destroying my mushrooms. Aha! Right when I start to wonder, here they are. Look there. Just about to lose uh, just about to lose hope there. One, what ground tip do we start looking? We start looking when the ground tips are in the 40s, probably upper 40s. When the ground tips are in the 50s, I guess is the best. But you know, when it starts to feel like spring, last night it was nice and humid. I had a good feeling about the day. It was the first night that wasn't in like the 30s or 40s. Last night the low was like 60. I knew it'd help them shoot up. We got a little bit of rain yesterday. I'm sure that helped them. Things looked a lot more green this morning when we woke up. What trees are in that area? Let's see here. This looks like an elm leaf. We got a lot of elm in here. That's my favorite tree to find them around. We got a lot of elm. I think that's what that is right there. Um, there's a lot of cottonwood and cedar around too. A little bit of oak. But I think the oak is just a coincidence. I don't think they're growing from the oak. I've completely lost count. We're at like 130-ish. Uh, Here's another one. Come on, down through the briars. 131. Man, picking all these mushrooms and not having any food to eat while I'm doing it is making me hungry. Yeah, I know this is the area. All right, yep, yep, here it is. This is where I remember sacking them up last year. Right around this cedar tree last year and all out in this little low area with these cottonwood and um, elm leaves everywhere. That's where I really sacked them up last year. 131 maybe, I can't remember. 132, hey look, there's 132. What kind of mushroom is this? Does anybody know? It's a weird looking thing. I don't know, it can't get much light on it. It's a weird mushroom. Keep on trucking. Here's 133. Here's another 136. Look at this big guy right here. Bam. 137 maybe. What's the best temperature to start hunting? Usually whenever, whenever the highs are in the 60s or 70s and the lows are in the 40s or 50s, pretty good time. When it gets much up over 80, they start dying. Uh oh, I see one way over here. Let's go rescue him, no more L left behind. Aha, dang. Look, we're too late. Mondo daddy already died and, and left. But here we go. Here's this guy. I don't remember how many this is, 137 maybe? But our sack is getting heavy, look at that. Yeah, we got a pretty cool spoonbill video up on YouTube. If you guys get a chance, go check it out. My 11 year old caught some huge spoonbill. We all did, but it's funny seeing a little bitty kid reeling a 80 pound fish. Uh oh, I spotted some. Wow, I'm glad we decided to switch sides. Look at that. Woo, here we go. 138, if I remember right, 139, share it if you can, check us out on Instagram and on YouTube, we got a YouTube video up of our first morel hunt of the year, this is our second serious morel hunt of the year, to the left, okay, I'll go back over there in one second, let me pick a couple of these little buddies I see, hiding in these leaves, and these oak leaves and cottonwood leaves all mixed together, Look oh, at this big sucker. Pretty. Ain't that a pretty sight? Oh, here's one. Look there. Ta-da! Looky here. I about missed this little fella. About stepped on this little fella. There, Your friend gave you away, guys. You had a good hiding spot. But your friend tipped me off. There's three more. 
140 at least. Woo, looky here. He's an orange one almost. He's shiny yellow. Look, he's already starting to fall off. Good thing we came and saved him when we did. 141. This little guy's dried out. He's broke off his stem, but he is salvageable. 141. How many usually in a pound? Usually between 20 and 60, depending on their size. So around 30 in a pound, I'd say is pretty average. Oh, there's a big pretty one up here. If you like fishing or mushroom hunting, definitely check us out on Instagram, Adrenaline Rush Adventures, YouTube. We have 190 something thousand subscribers, Adrenaline Rush Adventures. And obviously the one you're watching on here on TikTok has a hundred or has has the least least followers is TikTok. But I, they do do really well on live. So that's why we're over here on the live today. And we're trying to grow our smallest channel. Let's walk over into these cedars. I know some people have said they never found them in cedars. I'd like to be able to show you guys. See, we find them a lot of, out in this monkey grass too. Cedars are one of my favorite places to hunt morels. Heck yeah. They, I, mine too. They're easier to see under there. And sometimes they come out in big flushes if the weather's right. There could be snakes, but I'm not worried about any snakes. Come on, mushrooms. Don't do me this way. Not in front of my friends. We're looking for, oh, we're looking for these right here. Check it out. Morel mushrooms. There's one and there's one. Now these are growing up beside, a, looks like an elm tree out here in the cedars. But I think the cedars help them out a little bit. Bam, 140 something. Ouch. 143 maybe. Oh, I think I see one up in here. Now see, there's no elm over here where this fellow's growing. This is strictly cedar over here. 144, hmm. Oh, here's another one. These are little fresh grays. They're just young. I, 149, okay then, 150. Yeah, somebody's helping me keep count. Much appreciated. Such an awkward spot. But it's below a big hill and it's in a pasture. So when it rains a lot, I think the water comes down here and sits on a real wet year. And I think that's what helps pop them out. But here's another one. See, he's a small little guy. Look at this little turd. Can't believe I've seen him. He is tiny, barely poking out of the leaves. Makes, oh, look, we already walked past that guy up there. So 152, little cute little guy. What a cute little guy. And here's his buddy. He gave away, ah, come here. Get in there. There's some more. I guess I already walked past this. Hey, it takes, a little more getting used to them out here in this stuff. They look a little different, but there is another one. Our goal today when we started was we were trying to get to a 100. We've surpassed that. Hard to walk through here. A bit of a drought, but back over here is the big bright yellow ones again. Looky there. Oh. Yeah, those are the ones that are easy to see. Those are the ones I like to find. 150 something. Heck if I remember. Anybody remember? Doop. Where's his friends? Anybody see his friends? I try to look for elm trees and cottonwood trees. My two favorite trees, probably. A little bit of ash trees. Of course, if there's some cedars mixed in with them, I'll be looking in the cedars too. There's two more nice freshies right there. Doop, doop. Oh, look at this guy. I walked past. Wow. Look at here. I've seen some bright, bright yellow ones off in the off in the foreground, but I don't remember what we're at. 158 maybe. And here's a little hiding friend. Mm -hmm. doop, doop. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Let's see here, 160, 161. Get off me. 162. Oh man, 163. You can obviously tell these are going from this big tree, whatever it is. It's either an ash. I'm gonna say that's an ash tree. Pretty sure that's an ash tree. 163. 
Look at all these buddies. 164, 165, 166, 167, 67, 168, Ugh. 169. Well, here's one, 170. Got my hands full. Finally get back over here to these giants, yellows that led me over here anyways. Look at them, three of them growing out of one little. Here's their buddy, 171. All right, here we go, chopping down these three Mondos. 172, 173, 174, 175. Where'd that one go I seen down here? Aha, 176. So here's one more, 177. It'd be cool if I could make it to 200, but I think I'm running out of battery. I'm sure I'll make it, you know, but I don't think the battery is gonna make it. Here's his little friend. Thing. Oh look, we missed some. Fun. All right, 180. What's up, everybody? So we just got finished with our TikTok live. Woo! We are at 180 mushrooms. And just pick this beautiful fresh guy, man. They're so awesome. We may be coming back into them, so I'm gonna turn this GoPro back on for a second. 182 or so. Here's a little guy. What a cute little guy. 183. Here's a little fella. Oh. What are you doing down here by yourself? Barely popping out the ground. Okay, here we go. 185. That is barely coming out the ground. 186 though. Here we go. 188. 189. 190. 191. Come on. What else we got? Come on, I know there's some more. That is barely poking up. 192. 4%. Come on, I sure would like to make it 200 for this GoPro, guys. We are on 194, and we just found some more. We're on 194 at least. 95. 196. Big old thick double stem guy, see that double stem? And 197. That's awesome. Uh, see a couple more here. 198. Mm. 199, come on. I was ducking through here, just basically trying to survive the thorns and the cedar trees. And look, I probably almost stepped on those. My sunglasses got yanked off right here. I remember something fell off my head. I thought it was my hat, I grabbed my hat. So I knew, I remembered where that happened at. I was lucky enough to find it. And look, mushrooms right there. They're tiny though, I mean, those are really hard to see, right? Let me have number 200. You can't find them all, no matter how hard to try. But we found most of them. That is a good day's work. So I'm gonna get off here and head back to the truck. Calling it a day. Thanks for watching. Check out Adrenaline Rush Adventures on um, TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. Nathan Wayne Williams on Facebook. See you guys later. Check back.